That's right. We're on live. We're going to get this thing done one way or another. What's up to y'all? actually get into uh, this profession instead, instead of the typical blind uh, jobs that blind people have, you know, like factories and, you know, uh, things of that nature. What, what prompted you to say, I'm gonna I'm try this? Well, speaking of jobs, um, I've, I've been on my own since I was 17. I've always had my own place, did my own thing. And, you know, social security was somewhat helpful until my rent was increased. Um, I went and paid my rent on the third of that month. And that's when he dropped the news on me. He's like, well, your rent's being increased by $500. And it's like, when you go from paying $400 for rent to 900 and in Florida, social security is only 700, there's, that's just kind of impossible. So that gave me about three and a half weeks to come up with 500 extra dollars. Went and applied for jobs, applied for jobs. And it was good jobs because I've had I've had plenty of training, so I'm good with like technical stuff, computers, I speak five different languages. So customer service was an idea, um, but everybody just kept denying me the job thinking, well, you can't see, so you're not gonna be able to do this. And I, you know, I'm a firm believer in the ADA and my rights in discrimination rights and everything else, but I didn't have time to go through with the whole, well, you're discriminating and, I have a right to do this. And I mean, I was actually denied a really, really good job working from home. Could have been paid $22 an hour just on the computer answering phones, you know, from home. But they were like, well, we have a concern because you're visually impaired and you won't be able to do it. And it's like, oh, how do you know I won't be able to do it? But like I said, I didn't have time to invest in lawyers and, and, and plead for this and fight for that. I didn't have time for that. So, um, when the offer was proposed to me, a friend of mine from high school, he thought about it. He said, well, it's going to sound crazy. You're not ugly. You got a nice figure. So why not get into dancing? And I looked at it like that is absolutely crazy and impossible. It doesn't even sound real like a blind, a blind stripper, a blind dance. Like what? <laughs> How? Who? <laughs> why? <laughs> Okay, well, let me let me stop you right there because I got a lot of black people who's watching and probably you wondering how you actually look. So without going to graphic details, just give them a description, you know, of 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 of, of you. I mean, from what I know, I'm told I got a stripper figure. You about you know, how tall are you? I'm five eight, okay. barefoot. Okay, cool. Now go ahead. Five eight. I've got caramel skin. Got a pretty smile and I'm pretty curvy. Waist snatched, you know what I'm saying? So I, I got the I've got the body for it. Mm. I just okay. learned that. So that wasn't a problem. You had the body, you'd be able to handle your business. So with that being said, continue. Yeah, so but I, I thought about it as you know, it was crazy and it was stupid. Like how how's that gonna work? Right. You know? And I did my research. Um, I called a couple of clubs. I said, hey, this is going to sound really, really crazy, but I'm blind and I want to work for you guys. I got about, well, I got some laughs. I got some confusion. I got some no's. I went to about nine clubs and the 10th one I went to, I was like, okay, God, it's you and me now. If this is a no, then it's not, it's not meant for me. It's not, it's not meant to happen. It's not going to happen. And I walked in and I talked to the bartender. Her name was, her name's Rain. And I said, look, as crazy as this looks and as crazy as it sounds, I need this job. I don't have any other options. All my doors are closed. And she's like, well, we don't have any paper applications. And that's basically when I was getting ready to walk out the door, like, okay time for eviction. And she's like, but if you want to go ahead and get dressed and start, you can. I'm like, wait, wait a minute. What'd you say? Huh? Mm -hmm. She's like, yeah, if you want to just go ahead and get dressed and start, go ahead. And she took a copy of my ID and that was it.